All right. So, everybody, I've got an amazing guest with us right now. We actually caught up, I guess it was about six months ago. And uh, my, how times change, especially in the life of a rock star. We are joined by the most iconic drummer in the world. And uh, he also happens to be the fifth Beatle, Rick Allen. <laughs> you broke that one out last time. <laughs> what a nice introduction. Yes, the thunder god himself. And uh, you are in Pittsburgh right now on tour with Def Leppard and Journey, yeah? Yes, and uh, we had a fantastic show last night in uh, Toronto, uh, playing the Rogers Center in front of, uh, like they, had, they had to have been uh, uh, roughly around about 40,000 people there. It was it was just insane. That's all? Wow. Yeah, uh, we had Peter Frampton opening up the show, which was, which was it, it was just such a wonderful blast from the past, and just all those songs are in my, my DNA. And then uh, journey, and then uh, and and then we uh, we finished things up. It was it was amazing. Wow! Now, obviously, we were talking a little bit ago, and last time we caught up, you know, I, I kind of put you on the spot because there was a lot of hype and speculation around, you know, journey and Def Leppard going out on tour, and of course, things were hush hush. But how did you feel when you knew that you were in fact going to be getting out on tour again? What's that feeling like knowing you're going to be hitting the road? Um, I was just really excited, um, and and especially the fact that we uh, we toured with them, you know, before. Um, it was it was nice to see familiar faces, you right. know. Um, but yeah, I mean, the the sum total two two bands together like Def Leppard and Journey, it's just so much more when you when you put us together. Um, you can tell people are having a fantastic time, you yeah. know. Just uh, um, you know, basically. Hearing hit songs, you know, all night, and it, it's 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 such an honor to do this. It really is. Yeah, each one of you have got a few, you know, just a few. I'd say so. Yeah. Now, so one of the things I think is really really cool, and uh, you know, I have to thank your wife Lauren, and again our mutual friend Allison again for kind of coordinating this and coordinating this and putting it together. Your uh, art exhibit was in King of Prussia, right in our backyard of Philadelphia. Here, of course, with Wentworth Galleries, you've got. All of your beautiful paintings and your jewelry and everything on display. And because you're going to be coming back through Philadelphia on June 11th, everybody, June 11th, if you didn't get your tickets, I'm really sorry, you're going to have to, uh, I don't know, go play a game of cards and hopefully someone throws those tickets down and you win them in a bet because I know that's sold out. But um, your art exhibit is back at Wentworth, King of Prussia through June 12th. Yeah? Yes, it is. Now, were you planning on swinging by there at all while you were in town, or there's not going to be any time for that? I mean, if I, if I get time, it, it's just so hectic out. Right. You know, um, you know I, I, I do need to get some rest uh, occasionally. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine. So, you know, late nights. Um, well, you know, I'm not, I'm, not used to, I'm not used to staying up past, you know, about... 10 o'clock, 10.30 is, is normally my latest, you know, so, um, and then when you're done playing a show, you know, your body's kind of a little tired, but your mind is just going because, you know, yeah. you've just been through the most incredible experience, you know, playing in front of all these people. Yeah. So, yeah. as you can imagine, it's, it, it's, it's, it's a little tough on your, uh, on your nervous system. Yeah. Now, I got to ask you, I mean, speaking, since you're on tour and everything like that, I saw something not too long ago where Phil Collin had a little bit of a family emergency, and uh, you had uh, Steve Brown from uh, Trickster fill in. Is that still the case, or is Phil back with you guys now? No, Phil's uh, Phil's been back for the last uh, for the last few shows. Okay, good. Uh, and uh, you know, it, it, it's it's just so nice to have him back because right. you know he. Uh, yeah. Well, we we've been doing this for so long, right? Um, and we were just eternally grateful, or are eternally grateful, for Steve Brown coming out and filling in like he did, um, and just you know, it was it was great to be able to uh, to be able to do that, but uh, not not quite the same. Well, you know, sure. now Phil's back. It's uh, every everybody feels uh, feels like we're we're back in the saddle, you know. But everything's good. Everything's cool. No worries. 
Every every everything's fine. Good. Um, Good. You know, um, he's got a you know be- beautiful son. So, uh, Very so cool. everything, everything went, went really well. Oh, okay. So I knew he was expecting uh, another child. So is, was that the deal? This child came a little earlier than expected? Was that the deal? Exactly. exactly. Oh, very interesting. So we got we got Uncle Rick here, huh? I'm now talking yeah. to Uncle Rick Allen. <laughs> nice, nice. So I guess the only uh, you know issue there is, is he going to be a singer? Is he going to be a drummer or a guitarist like his old man? You know, what are we going to do here? You know, he, he's got a, He's got a choice. <laughs> he certainly <laughs> does. Now, yeah. one thing that uh, I thought was really cool that just evolved, you know, pretty recently. I mean, you know, we're well familiar with your amazing art, you know, at this point, you know, as it shows on my wall here, you know, cool. I wish it was an actual real canvas. I have to take out another loan for one of those pieces though. But, uh, Bags. You you've entered the, uh, the the luggage world. What is this uh, bon sack? I'm I'm reading about here. Oh, the bon sacks. Yeah, I I wanted to come up with something. I wanted to come up with a bag that was cruelty free. Um, you know, I've been uh, I've been a vegan for uh, for many years, and uh, I just yeah, I just uh, I I didn't I don't dig wearing the leather anymore. Right. So, uh, so I came up with uh, with this design uh, with a friend of mine, a guy I've known for many years, a guy called Lars Tietens. Okay. And uh, I came up with this uh, this bag, and you know I've been wearing it for a good part of a um, a year. Okay. Just to kind of road, just to road test it, and uh, now I'm ready, you know, to, to share it with other people. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about it. Man, you're something else. It's like, what, what, what is your mind going to come up with next? You know? <laughs> Seriously, it's like you're, you're always inventing things. You're always creating things. I mean, does your mind ever stop? Even when you're sleeping, you're probably dreaming uh, up new ideas. I, I don't need to sleep that much these days. But, um, no, you know I just want to. I want to leave. I want to leave something. I want to leave a really nice legacy. I want to. I want to. I want to make a better world. That's 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 basically, you know, what I'm about. Um, right. You know, I've uh, I've left enough devastation behind me, and now you know I want to. Uh, you know, I want to make. I want to make things good. Right on. Now, how's Project Resiliency going? How's everything going with that project? Really good. Really yeah. good. Uh, we continue to raise money, and um, you know we're working with like-minded um, organizations. Um, whether that be you know yoga for our warriors, you know uh, helping with PTSD, right. uh, equ- equine assisted, right? That uh, that's that's been really successful. Working with horses, um, but yeah, we're 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 open to working with uh, other organizations. <laughs> Uh, even if I can't be hands on because of the fact that I'm out here on tour, right. uh, I, st- I still, I still want to be able to make a difference, you know? Right. Right on. Right on. Now getting back to your paintings for a moment here, I noticed that, uh, you've got your legends line that you've had. And of course, Steve Clark was the, the first piece you did in that legends line. I understand that, uh, John Lennon and Jimi Hendrix have been added to that. Exactly. Yeah. The first one I did was, uh, was Steve Clark. And I was, I was just really, I figured, you know, if I'm going to do a legend, you know, why not, uh, why not, why not paint somebody that, uh, that I dearly loved and sure. somebody I really knew. And, um, it turned out fantastic. It really did. Uh, to the point where I did, really didn't want to let go of it. I, 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 I wanted to keep it. Um, but you know, it's just the nature of, of, of what I do. It's the nature of art, you know, you. You start creating something, and then you know uh, you inevitably fall in love with it, and, and and then sadly you have to let go of it. You know? You're giving um, a piece of yourself away, but you know what? I mean, that is so cool that knowing you're creating something that someone else can so thoroughly enjoy, you know, for yeah. the rest of their lives, no, just like your music. You know, it's amazing. It's timeless. Same, same thing. Same thing. Um, 
So, uh, yeah, so I'm really proud of the uh, the Legends series, you know, and I, uh, I hope to be doing more, but uh, I'm busy with my day job at the moment. <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, here we are, right here, live, everybody. We are here right now in Pittsburgh, and uh, what time do you go on tonight, Rick? Uh, actually, we're on early tonight. We're on about uh, 7.30. Let me see if, uh, if you guys can get a glimpse of what's yeah. going on. Yeah, oh, yeah, let's see what's going on. Yeah, we got a bit of a late start, uh, but all the uh, all the equipment is going up uh, as we speak. Uh, so you know. So and you just wrapped up things in Toronto yesterday, huh? Yeah. So you know they they they're just hanging the screen and all the the sound system. Oh, you know, look at that! A lot of people working. Uh, yeah, 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 and that's going to be a lot of people in that place. Yeah. How many t-shirts do you go through in the course of a night when you're jamming? you got to be sweating it up. you got to be changing out shirts, huh? <laughs> Seriously. Uh, it's all part of the job. No, I, I, I'm, I'm up there. I, I probably stink at the end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. I'll bet. Oh, my goodness. Uh, any particular highlights from the tour so far? Any uh, Anything wild that happened? It's just one of those things that'll stick in your mind forever. Just a, just a new thing in your many, many, many experiences, life on the road. Anything wild? <clears throat> not, not really. It's, it's, it's pretty tame out here. Yeah. You know, uh, everybody's concentrating on what we need to do. Um, All business. But, um, I, but I just put a new, uh, uh, me and my drum tech, we put a new drum kit together recently. Oh, cool. So uh, I've been I've been just getting used to playing that. It plays slightly differently to, to the old uh, setup. Um, so that's that's been a little bit uh, challenging. Now, what inspired uh, that change? What made you want to change that up? It, it, it's new software. Um, it's all software based, uh, right on. You know, okay. technology. And it's um, it just tracks a little better. Um, there's less uh, latency. Um, the dynamic range is better. The sounds are better. Okay. So uh, no, I'm just I'm just sort of getting my head and my body around it, and it's. Uh, it's working out really good, and you know I, I get good response from um, uh, our uh, sound engineer out front. So uh, you know I'm constantly listening to the crew guys, you know, just to get feedback on on how the shows are going. You know, we're we're, we're in a constant mode of trying to improve what we do. Right. Uh, and I know that sounds strange after this many years, but you know, <laughs> yeah. there's always there's always room for improvement. Spoken from the lips of Rick. Alan, drummer for Def Leppard. There's always room for improvement. you got to be kidding me. <laughs> that's amazing. No, that's awesome. You know what? And, I mean, that's such a great thought to put on musicians, you know, of all ages and all walks of life, no matter where they are. You know, it, 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 it's never over. You know, you're always evolving. You're always trying to hone your, your craft. You're always trying to get better. I mean, because anyone can have an off night at any given time. And, uh, you know, it's all about having the ability, I would think, to even be able to recover. You know, I mean, with practice comes the ability to improvise when you need to. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, I, I, some nights I have great nights, and then other nights it's like, where did that come from, you know? Now, you haven't had an off night since you've been on tour, though, right? I'm sorry? You haven't had a single off night since you've been on tour, though, right? On this particular yeah, we, tour. Yeah, we, we, we've had, uh, we've had uh, off uh, off nights. Uh, I was leaving that open for you, Rick. You were going to say, no, everything's been perfect. No, it's, <laughs> you know what? It hovers around, like, what we call sort of a 98%. 98%, and then, and then there's those nights when it's like, you, you can't do anything wrong. It's just, it's effortless, you know? So, it's... Yeah. Uh, it's very elusive to, yeah. to, to play what I would call the perfect show. Uh, but, uh, you know, for anybody else listening, they'd be like, well, it's, it, it was the same as last night. I, I didn't hear the difference. But in, in, in my mind, you know, I, I hear the nuances. Yeah, now you musicians are all like that. You always have a keener ear. Because you're right. You're absolutely right. I mean, for someone like me, I would have no idea. Whereas all you guys, you know, you're just picking everything apart, you know. But hey, 
everybody's happy. I think it's a nice life lesson, you know. Yeah. And like I mentioned earlier about Groundhog Day, it, it's it's great that in all the things that we do, what you do, what you know, my wife does, what we all do uh, as as human beings, we can always go back and do it again. We get yeah. we get another chance, you know. And and I love the fact that it's so it's so focused, you know, out here. It's like it's like night after night after night after night, and it's just constant trying to get it right, you know, right. and and I find that a really nice uh, life lesson. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Well, I know you've got a lot going on, you know, and again, everybody, we are here with <laughs> the legend, Rick Allen, in Pittsburgh. Um, um, I really look forward to catching up with you as this tour progresses. We've got to do this again. This is awesome. I mean, this is absolutely amazing. Technology is a beautiful thing. It, it is. It is. Maybe, uh, maybe we can check out a sound check one time. I'll set you up, and you know, we can we can have a listen to what's going on. That, uh, that would be pretty think, awesome. Yeah, and there's a few things that we could we could do. So, uh, so let's keep in touch. We will. Uh, we will do that. Uh, you know, make, make this a regular thing if you want to. Uh, yeah, I'll think about it. Okay. Okay. I thought about it. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're good. <laughs> All right, so everyone, again, we are here with Rick Allen, Def Leppard, on tour with Journey. They are going to be in Philadelphia on June 11th. His exhibit at the Wentworth Gallery in King of Prussia runs through June 12th. So make sure you get over there and uh, buy some of his art if you can, uh, you know, afford it or put up the collateral to get a loan to get it. You should. It'll be worth more, you know, like gold. <laughs> you got it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right. I appreciate it, hey, mate. Have a good hey, one. Thank you. I'll I will talk, talk to you man. soon. Okay. Thank you. Have a great show tonight. Hey, thank you. You got it, sir. All right. Later.